for that. So it's now six to three, and Gel is looking to uh, steal a nice lead here, and we only have about a minute and twenty seconds left to go. It's always awkward, and I always find it extremely humorous when you're expecting your opponent to grab an item, but he doesn't. So there's always just that second wow, of, great. W w where is he? Nice uh -huh. work by Plague, with 7 health, gets that clutch rail, and makes it 64. There, there's still 1 minute left and 2 frags to go, so if Plague pulls something wonderful out of his pants, this could be good for him, but otherwise, the control has been so well in Jill's hands, and Plague has not been using this, this free time to secure control of the items. But, but see, honestly, he can't, and part of that's because Jell did so much damage, and that'll that'll pretty much finish right. off this round. Jell did so bad. much damage that you can see that, uh, I mean, you know, it was it was uh, the matter of, uh, you know, that 50 not being up, and that, that kind of kept him, you know, kept Plague stuck. He couldn't really capitalize off of the fact that he got the frag. And uh, now Jell's just cleaning up, so. Uh, we're gonna see this thing expire. We got about 15 seconds left to go, but uh, a nice close game, Jahar. I mean, a mere you know four or five frags here is uh, you know obviously Plague just sort of, sort of threw that one away um, in a desperate attempt. But uh, I'm curious to see where we go next. I was actually busy doing streaming stuff, so I missed um, <laughs> I missed the uh, the map call. Maybe, maybe Zoo can remind yeah, me. Yeah, as did I, as did I. So it'll be a good surprise for both of us, but, you know, a, a map that would... Hmm. I'm wondering what would favor Plague at this point, because DM13. both players were looking really, really shaken up here. Oh, this will be interesting. I know My you'll enjoy map. it as well. Oh, My yeah. favorite map. All right, so Relic versus Sparks won't be played tonight, because... Oh, my uh, God. Seriously? Yeah, Sparks, yeah, Sparks does have swine, swine flu. Um, four oh, guys. So guys. horrible. Send him happy, healthy thoughts, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, pick up his match whenever it does get played. Yeah, I don't know. Stop confusing Greece. It, it's it's it, not it, nice. It, he gets all it riled says, up. It says that, oh, I, I know he's wrong. Prepare Hang on, I'm not logged in on this particular comp. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, it, it, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be uh, 1 a.m. according to the ESL site. ESL 1 a.m. like as in Monday, as in just a couple hours from now. So, fuck it. Uh, we're going to try to cast well, it if they happen to play it. So On DM13. You know. Yeah. That's the important here thing. We, here we are on DM13. <laughs> uh, Jill, both players got kind of a top spawn where they were both rushing for the for the rocket launcher. Jill got that first. That pushed Plague out of the middle area. That gave him the red armor. And now Plague <laughs> is actually doing a lot of damage to Jill as he gets caught up in that doorway. That's going to hurt. Yeah, and it, and it really was kind of interesting that because uh, as we saw several times, Jell's rockets were the one to pop up Plague. Well, in this case, Plague's just hunting him down. Look at this great defensive rocket from Jell as he exits. And now, of course, Plague can't go in for that uh, kill, but he has secured Mega. So there you go. And he'll get back in time for Red. But uh, yeah, this time we're seeing Plague's rockets getting a little uh, pop goes the Jell sack. And I think that's... Um, <laughs> Uh, great, uh, great trap laid by Gel Plague is maybe a little bit uh, pushed off here. He certainly lost his red armor and most of his mega. We're going to see these items coming up at the same time, and so this could be a really interesting play between uh, both players and see what they do. We got a close range buckshot by Gel, and that's going to get him first blood and the mega. And honestly, if he rushes for it, he can get red, but he may not know the timing of it. And uh, we do see red picked up by Plague, so it looks like Jell is looking to uh, just try to do damage on the exit. Let's go take a look at Plague. He does get away. And and mm -hmm. Yeah, it really looks like Plague narrowly avoided catching a rocket to the face as he was moving forward. That would have been the most epic moment of the week. But here we see Plague doing a bit of damage against Jell with the LG, but Jell's SSG just knocks him down, making it 2-0. Great, and right great rocket. Just gonna give Jill and the this will be another kill. Plague's actually going to fall to his armor. death. Yep. Yeah, so oh, right now, splash. yeah, split splash that was taking a lava bath, and right now Jell is looking splish very solid here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hot burn baby. All right. Oh yeah. Goodness yeah, gracious. we can see. All right, Jell, we have a play here at red. Jell. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and, and and really smart there because you know he's keeping himself. You know, he's not very exposed. And he's been able to do quite a bit of damage, and it was after the pickup of that red. So 
really critical um, for that to happen because now he knows that he's much better off than his opponent and that will give him Mega. Uh, he actually, and you can see how he's kind of taking his time. Oh, he might have waited a little bit too long. He did wait too long and so Mega will go to Plague. Yeah, I, I think uh, Gel was thinking, oh, I did so much damage, he's not going to go for that item. Huh. But he has some balls, apparently. Hmm. And they swing low. All right, so we're watching Gel, and uh, he's, been, he's been forced off of uh, off of center. Plague dropping in. He's going to be looking for red, and a beautiful face rocket will uh, honestly keep Gel at bay. We got a little bit of splash, and he's anticipating a drop to grenade. That one was a great shot, and so now he's trying to go in for a bit more damage. He doesn't get there in time before Mega is picked up, and so now Gel, yeah, he's. <laughs> Has to double back because Plague was anticipating the run to this yellow armor. And you can see the delay on the pickup. And he's going to try to go for the LG one as well. No, he's, he's going to trade it for red and light up that exit with plasma. That'll give him red. And he can hear Plague coming Actually, across I up top. I want to say that a, a few seconds ago, that there was an opportunity lost for Jill as Plague was moving in for that red armor. You can see that he was throwing down a lot of rockets, but Plague could have been any number of, you know, five places. So a lot of them weren't doing a lot of damage. And he was a little bit late on getting that ambush rocket off the teleporter. So we could have seen a third frag there, but that's going to be counting against Jill in a little bit. But on the other hand, we do see the red armor going solidly to Jill for a second time. And he's going to be setting up again to make sure that this mega goes to him as well yeah now i just did get word from griffin that uh his match versus relic will be in about 32 hours so it will not be at 1 a.m tonight but 1 a.m tomorrow or whenever the hell that happens so uh yeah we will update our site in a little while but right now we're seeing a very unfortunate negative two for plague and they're about to see three to negative two and there it is. So, Gel, very solid versus Plague right now, DM13. And the control has been pretty handedly in Gel's favor the entire game. I mean, I, I, we're going to go watch Plague's point of view because we're about at the halfway point. And, um, you know, we're not out of the you know realm of possibility here for Plague, but uh, it's going to take... Uh, Plague's going to need quite a bit of a break um, before he can turn this thing around, I think. He does sneak up and get initial damage. That's two great rockets, but again, defensive. Nice. Puts him down to 30 health. He does get Mega to recover him, and he can go in straight for the kill. So once more, guys, we've seen this thing be pulled within three. He's going to get red as well, and if he's quick, he can get one of these yellow armors. And... Um, yeah, Let's him having 30 he health off of that skirmish meant that that initial rocket, it was that initial rocket and the fact that Jill didn't know what angle he was going to be coming oh, wow. from, uh, that gave it to him. And now he's down to 12. That 50 is going to help him on top of the rocket launcher. But he did get that red armor, so things are swaying a little bit towards him, but it's going to be difficult for him to keep it this way because he's only got 52 health and he's sitting mm -hmm. on this red armor a little bit too long. I'm actually surprised Jill was not there to make him pay for that. He was waiting in Mega. He wanted the Mega instead. And, uh... Wow, if Plague gets away. Now, this is a hard road because he's going to expose himself in center. And we know that that 50 is not coming up for several seconds. He manages to break away to a 25. But he's really hurting for health. And actually, now uh, he will take a lot of that. Oh. Mm. So Plague's just having uh, the devil's own task. Lava hurts. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that a song? Bam, Lava by hurts. The way, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I hate you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, lava hurts. Lava fries. No? Okay. All right. So we do have Gel picking up frag number four. Plague has made it back to a goose egg, but with a mere three and a half minutes. Uh, it's going to be a long and dusty trail. Let's go watch Plague one more time as he attempts to recover. He will get red, but he's probably going to be punished. He does get that red and away with a mere bit of splash. And, uh,. <laughs> Gel just shot himself in the face, so that's a clean exit for Plague. So he should get this frag. Nice close range, both players. Wow, but the, the fact that the Plague... of the Mega there was really weird. Yeah, but let's talk about this. Because Plague should have been able to just destroy Gel, but I think that he's kind of lost his confidence a little bit. He backed away from that fight when he could have just uh, removed Gel's face. And... Um, 
So I, th I think that uh, sort of the mental battle has been won already. And uh, let's see if Clay can pick up this frag. Oh, he does. Big. Yeah, that was big. And the guys, it's still possible.